Hello, welcome or welcome back to my video. I'm cash stuffing $222. There's actually quite a bit to unpack. So first and foremost, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. This is the very first video that I'm filming since Christmas. I'm filming this um, December 26th. And yeah, I just hope you guys had a really great Christmas. Mine was awesome. But because I do have a lot to unpack in this video, I do want to get started. So the $222 comprises of $155 from Etsy, $41.50 from Poshmark. Then I have some Discover rewards at almost $9 and then City rewards at $16. Let's give it a cash count. 50, 70, 90. 110, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 205, 206, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 222 dollars is what we have here to stuff today. And so there's going to be quite a few things going on. I'm going to do a cash stuffing. We're going to do some savings challenges. We are going to color in any new states that I've received sales from. And hmm, I think that might be it. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much. If you are um, somebody that does watch my vi videos and has decided to purchase, to support me, to support my Etsy, thank you so, so much. It really is so greatly appreciated. And if you are ever interested in checking out my Etsy, please use the link down below. Um, since that does help me save some fees with Etsy. So, oh, one thing I will say, I'm going to be adding in to my business binder some envelopes that I got from the one and only Lily Budgets. So all of the envelopes in this are solely from Lily Budgets, and I opened it the other day, um, but let me pull it out. Um, she, she sent this little, um, cage cat sticker. I think it's a sticker. It's, it made me laugh. Nicholas Cage. So I ordered from Lily Budgets more. Like, I'm always thinking of categories that I still need. So she was so sweet to include this envelope here. It's so pretty. Oh, I for, I can't think of the material name of what this is but it is really really pretty so thank you so much if you ever decide to click on this video really thank you so much but i asked her to add a shipping well <laughs> i had her make me a shipping and a marketing um, envelope here to add so let's see here we will put it here. Oh my god. I got so annoyed seeing the Camtasia one. That's my editing software. I need to give them the boot. That's a whole other story. So anyways, let's start out with tax prep. So we are, this actually might be my last cash stuffing of 2023. Um, I did get a small payout. I don't know, there might be a small amount that I cash. Well, that would be kind of pointless, but I don't know. I think really this is going to be my last cash stuffing of 2023. So taxes is getting $55. So we have 50, 100, 120, 40, 60, 70, 80. 85, 90, 95, 96. So $196. And I'm just going to paper clip this here to 
differentiate that this is 2023 taxes. I will eventually move this out, but I'm just going to put it back there for now. Okay, so then supplies. I did use this money, but it is getting $15. Equipment is getting $10. If you watch my normal cash stuffing videos, you'll know that there was money in here and I took it out because my cat ruined my headphones that I use for my business, like my businesses. And I took it out of here and then I also took it out of the cat fund of like what I couldn't cover, which is kind of funny now that I think about it. But anyway, so equipment got. 10 and then services i'm going to add 10 to this one so now services has 20. okay po box i am fully funding this today i ironically as i film i got the alert that they were we're pulling the money, so this is quite literally perfect timing. So I can pay myself back. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88 dollars. So if you ever want to send happy mail or just write to me or whatever the case may be, I always have the PO box information in every description box. Please don't feel obligated, but it is certainly there. And then let's see here. Then I had this Canva envelope. I always had this in here because I wanted to save for an annual. I pay monthly and so I leave money in my account. There's some money that I don't pull out to do the cash stuffings. Um, so technically I had like 20 bucks more, but I left it in there to cover Canva and another service. So this was sent to me by Love Always Sunny. Um, I want to start saving for the annual subscription so I don't have to keep paying monthly. So we're at our first $5. So I thought it was absolutely perfect that um, Love Always Sunny was so gracious enough to send me this challenge. I laminated it myself. But I was so, so happy because I kind of wanted something to track it. It's kind of more motivating. Like, as you see, <laughs> I always leave it empty. And now that I have a tracker, now I'm more likely to start stuffing it moving forward so that is getting five dollars so in total everything that went into my business binder today is 118 dollars um and that's all that i'll be doing today i think i'm going to just leave this to the side for now to just make sure especially because these are envelopes from lily budgets i don't want to ruin them because I love those envelopes. They are so pretty. Okay, so next up, we are going to fill in this map. So again, thank you so, so much for supporting my Etsy. If you do not see your state colored in, uh, that means I have not received any sales, whether that is a digital product or a physical product. Throwing my pen. But um, I, get a, I got a lot of the same states in my Etsy orders, uh, but the one differing state, I got a first timer from Maryland and ironically, I ended up getting two people that are from Maryland that ended up purchasing. So that was pretty cool. I didn't have any Maryland people and then suddenly I had two. Now I don't pull out weekly. Some people do like when they do these side, hu these side hustle stuffings. Um, I think actually when I was looking earlier, the last time I pulled out was around the 11th of December. So, so thank you again. I really appreciate your support. So that is how the map is looking. 
It's so pretty with the glitter. Now we should have $104 remaining. Let's just do a double check here. Um, oops. I get really flap, floppy, crappy bills and they just sink into here. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Yes, okay, perfect. So we have 104 left. So if you are new here, um, I like to do savings challenges with my side hustle income after I put a, like pour a little bit back into the business. I'm so sorry, this might trigger some people with bills being upside down. Let me try to fix that. Um, so I like to stuff it into savings challenges and specifically I like to put it into my debt savings challenges. Okay, so I would like to have my binder up this way, but it's just difficult. What if I did it that way? I don't know. So we're, we are going to skip ahead to my extra debt section. See, it doesn't fully show up. I just don't have a lot of desk space. It does drive me nuts to have my binder this way, but I just don't have the space with my little bookshelf thing being here. But that's okay. Okay, so first up is from the Almost Organized Owl. I want to finish this challenge. Everybody is linked down below, by the way. But I just want to finish this one up here. And if you are brand new, I'm sorry that I keep saying that. But um, I have two challenges in this particular envelope because way back I was doing savings challenges and I was doing it a little bit differently. Like I was putting the cash toward my debt snowball every single time instead of finishing the challenge and then doing it. So I had half started challenges and I kind of stopped for a bit, fell off, whatever. And then I really got back into savings challenges and like doing it the proper way of finishing it first before you take the money. Oh, screw it. Let's do it. old toes blue as well. <laughs> but so when I count the money, I think I combined two challenges in envelope that I half started. So when I count this, it's not going to equal the amount. But just keep in mind that if you do get her challenge, it is $125 if you actually do it the proper way. Okay, so let's add the 20 or, and the 10, sorry, the 30 total. Sorry if I confused you there. And let's count out how much we have. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. That is so cool. So this is a now complete. I will be skipping around in this binder because I do prefer to finish challenges or try to get ones that I can ones that are easier to kind of finish. I, I want to finish as many as possible. So hold a moment and I'm going to pull out my high priority binder to add this. So let's go in here to Death Snowball or yeah, that snowball. I was like, wait, I forget what I, what I call it. And let's add this all together. Actually, yeah, I don't know that I'm going to finish another challenge. So we will, we will do that. So when I was hanging out with my sister, she loves stationery like I do. And she brought a bunch of pens and stuff. Like we were just admiring it when we went out together. And she bought a bunch of pens and shared them with me. So I was so, so happy. Savings challenge. So plus 94. 
Okay, let's see how much we have. I'm so excited. So 100, 200, 300. This represents money that is currently in the bank. So 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 400, ah, 400, 410, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 40, 42. Oh my gosh. $442. Ah, that is so freaking exciting. $442. Oh my god. I am so ecstatic about that. So, so, so ecstatic. Hopefully we can finish more challenges in this video, but I really don't know. I don't know that that's going to happen. But I remain optimistic. So last time that I played this game, this is from Jerry from One Frugal Introvert. I did go ahead and write the date so I knew where I left off. never pulled out my scratchers or anything like that so let's do that now okay so two one two okay so five let's go again three so one two three that's one dollar. Let's go again. Six. One, two, wait, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Two dollars. Let's go again. Six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's five. So we made our way around the board. So we have $13. Let's go. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to finish this challenge. Let's go one more time. Three. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, so let's put back the three and take a five. So we have $15, and let's put the date here so we remember that we left off there. So let's count this up and see how much we have saved so far. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. So that's exciting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 1, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, we have 15 more spots. Who knows? Let's see how we how we are on other challenges. Okay. So this one is my challenge. It's found in my shop. The coloring's a bit off. This is one of my oopsie prints that I'm just using. But it's called Holy Cow. And it's a board game style with dice. And then it also has scratchers. So we're going to scratch right here. Okay. So that's $2. Let's scratch over here. Okay, so we scratched a one. Okay, now let's move a bit on the board. So five. Did I mark this where I last left off? Let's just assume I stopped here because with the green I would have went boom, 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 I'm assuming. I'll start marking it moving forward, but one, two, three. Okay. 
So that's three that I'm putting in. So I'm putting back two to take a five. Okay. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So for this spot, it's five plus whatever I roll on the die. So I'll cross it off so I don't forget. So five plus one. Oh, shoot. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's do a condensing. Three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay, so we have 12 going in so far. Let's roll again. So, so we are rolling a one. So I landed here, which is your pick. Mm, let's do, let's do $5. Okay, so $17. We will stop here and we will move on. Just see. Eh, maybe we'll go a few more times. Or one or two more times. Sorry, I'm very indecisive if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I just really want to finish challenges. I mean, there's still a... Eh, maybe I should just move on. There's still a decent amount of moves to go. We'll see what I get through and then I might circle back. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. So $93. You see a little bit of a mix of placeholders. Um, that just represents money in the bank, even for those small, smaller denominations. I used to use all placeholders, and then I'd switch to cash. So that's the story behind that. Okay, so then this one is super cute. It's called Dino Dig from Hands and Bands. So last time I did this, I was kind of digging off in this direction. So let's kind of keep going, see what we find next. Oh, we are coming across a bone. Oh, so cute. <laughs> okay, that might have been a bit morbid. But <laughs> okay. So we dug ourselves into a dead end. So let's kind of veer off and go down this way. Oh. Okay, so we found a 10. Okay. So we found a 5. Three, four, five. I think we're hitting a number. Oh no. We are finding more bones. This one is so fun. You just keep scratching until you find something. Okay, so we found a 10. I don't think there will be any more down here. So let me just scratch the rest. Okay, so $10. Okay, so we're doing a trade-off. So today we are adding 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, $25. Let's see how much we have. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 
Okay, 70. It's basically 55 more dollars until this challenge is done. Mm, what do we have next? So we're not going to finish any other challenges today. I can tell you that. If I focused on one challenge, maybe, but that's no fun, right? Um, but at least I am getting further and further. I'm about to have a cash stuffing in a few days. So that'll help. Um, this one is Trash Pandas. Um, this one is also on my Etsy shop. Again, linked down below. This is the cardstock version, but I do have it in a photo paper, laminated photo paper, which it pops more, which is super cool. But um, I'm going to scratch this trash bag here. Sorry, I had to find the scratcher. And even though I made this challenge, I don't look at every look at it every day to where I remember how much money uh, each spot is. Okay, so this one is $9, so I'm just going to put a 1 back and take the 10, though we're going to be pulling more ones. I think I'm going to do this one. These are not normally the scratch-off stickers that are on it. I just wanted to keep one for myself, so I just used spare ones that I had. Okay, seven. Five, six, seven. We literally have a dollar left. Oh boy. Uh, I don't think, I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm gonna have any luck on this and I'm gonna, I think I want to try my luck at something else. I'll probably regret that, but we'll try. So let's just count out how much we have saved in this challenge so far. Okay. So far we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Five, thirty-six, thirty-seven dollars. And on this challenge, if you uh, the scratchers are between one and ten, but then there are two red soda cans somewhere, and if you scratch and reveal them, they are twenty-five dollars each. So there's some big hitters on that one, which makes it even more fun. But yeah, I think I want to go back to. Um, roll your luck. <laughs> Where did I leave off? Okay. So we're going to cross that off. One, two, three. If we roll a three. Okay, that didn't count. <laughs> it has to stay on the desk. Two. Oh, no. One, two, okay, well, <laughs> well, okay, so we have a $7 IOU. Okay, I don't know if these are actually sticky. They're from like the dollar store years ago, so the quality isn't the best. They're kind of sticky. Do I trust to leave that on here? Okay, I honestly forgot how much was in here, but we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, and 86, plus another 6, so what is that, like 92, if I did that right? So we're getting there, we are getting there, but we unpacked quite a bit today, so we... Stuffed our business binder. We colored Maryland and put them on the map. We finished a savings challenge. We put that money into the debt snowball. 
And we did some savings challenges, getting me even closer to finishing a bunch. My goal was to try to clear out as many as possible around, you know, the year ending. And this definitely puts me in a better position. That way I can start some new fresh challenges. Not that I'm not having fun, but you know, it'll be a fun change up to see new challenges being played. But if you are still here, leave me hashtag hustle down below. And if you are still here, thank you so, so much. I greatly appreciate your support. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you are not already, subscribe. I do content about cash stuffing, savings challenges, and getting out of debt. So follow me on my journey if interested. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And Happy New Year. Bye.